The key thing to be a, a voice actor is not only the, the acting emphasis and getting that foundation, it's also about location dependent upon your goals. You can do commercial voiceover from literally anywhere. Uh, something as targeted and niche like video games, cartoons, animation, you need to be where the work is. Although technology has come a long way, we're able to use programs like Source Connect where you can have a digital phone patch basically and record from one side of the coast and the other side of the coast and be directed online and do all that. But typically directors do want you there face to face for all that. <laughs> so markets like LA, I think are the big hub for the most diverse amount of opportunity, the biggest amount of opportunity. I have way more fun uh, with group records. It's so amazing to get that dynamic of interplay. Uh, to do like an old style radio drama, which I was also in, in just wowed by as a kid. It's like, oh, the theater of the mind. You know, having each character, each, each actor with their own microphone, music stand, and nowadays iPads, you know, uh, tablets or whatever, and, and watch everyone do their craft, screw up, and then you're like, oh good. They're human too. They can they blow takes after takes, and then watching that that improv dynamic, and helping to lift the screen the script off the page and, and really come to life. You know, every person only has so many voices they can do. They might end up doing a same type of voice. Like my teenage voices all sound the same. They basically sound like my voice, maybe pitched up a little bit or with a little more rasp, but that's about it. The thing that differentiates them is the character. You know, Gohan is a very different character than Kiba from Naruto, but similar, they're in the same range. You could play them back to back and go, oh, that's the same person. I think Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Vato Fallman, sounds a lot like what I ended up doing for Ryu in Street Fighter. They're just this down here kind of syrup, you know, kind of zen sounding and hmm, that's interesting. That sort of thing. And yeah, I mean, I rip myself off all the time, but I think everyone does. Keep your eye on the prize, uh, aspiring actors. Um, get experience where you can, train where you can, do your research. Hop online and search for acting classes or folks that may maybe do it long distance online over Skype or something like that. If you're in a place that doesn't offer a lot of acting opportunity, um, get involved. Uh, whether if you have some sort of speech impediment or regional dialect, you're gonna have to overcome that first because your chances are gonna be minimal in the acting realm uh, unless you can overcome that and turn it on and off like a light switch. You're, uh, you gotta have a thick skin. You gotta, you gotta be, be used to being told no more than yes. What's our job as an actor? To audition. To audition is the job. And if you book the job, that's just icing on the cake. Because you get to play when you're auditioning. Technically, yeah, you're voice acting when you're doing the audition. So, you know, stick to your guns. <laughs>